All right, in this video, we're going to show a short demonstration on how to change from the Cisco WAN router to the Cisco SD-WAN routers. But actually, there are two options here. The first option is you need to send the engineer to go on the site and perform the upgrade uh, from, from the site. But now we're going to talk about the second option, which it has a capability to do an upgrade from the WAN router to the SD-WAN router remotely, 100%. It needs to do something with the script that I'm going to show you, but let's first take a look at the diagram that we have. First thing is we have uh, the WAN, the traditional WAN router sitting at the hub, and we have two branches here, which are not yet migrated to the SD-WAN. First thing we need to uh, do it at the head end router first. This one is it is the SD WAN routers. But then uh, you now have to change the branch. You need to migrate the branch from the traditional WAN to the SD WAN infrastructures. Yeah, as I said earlier, we have a limitation on the engineer who can go on the site. So we want to do everything remotely. So once we change this one, uh, this branch to the SD WAN routers, then we want to we want to automatically uh, establish the tunnel and uh, start sending the traffic right away from this branch to the SD-WAN infrastructures to the hub. So uh, this can be done with the script that I have written here. So this is actually the script that you can find it, you can download it from the GitHub. Uh, let me explain a little bit on how the script works. Okay, first you need to look at the prerequisite before running the script. First thing is uh, the controller needs to be on 20.3.x and above. So that means uh, you need to upgrade the controller to 20.3 first and make sure all of your branch router will have uh, 17.3 and above because 17.3 image is uh, supported for the unified image. You don't need to change the image to go to the SD-WAN, you just need that image and change the mode only from the WAN to the SD-WAN. Second thing is you need to do the device template on the controller to be ready. You have to, you have to done this before and attach the serial number of your WAN devices that you want to change it to the uh, SD-WAN to this template. And then uh, make sure that uh, you have a script running on the management uh, PCs so that uh, that particular management PCs will be able to log in to the WAN router that you want to migrate to the, uh, to the SD-WAN. Uh, that's it. So let's take a look how it works. So first thing is, uh, this is the vManage 20.6 version. Uh, of course, it is above 20.3, that is fine. Then we need to go to the template and start building the template, right? So right now I have a CTP template here, the CTP test. And uh, this template, it, uh, let's take a look inside. Um, so you have basically uh, everything is default. Uh, you have uh, VPN zero, you can configure uh, the WAN routing or any kind of stuff on the VPN zero template. And then you need to add the interface of the WAN. So right now uh, I have only one interface. So yeah, I just put gigabit zero 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 over there. And we have um, the VPN 10, which is our service VPN here. So inside the VPN 10, I have a loopback interface. Uh, configure. So this is uh, the LAN interface to connect to, to the LAN side of the router, right? And uh, that's it. So then uh, I uh, after I finish this one, I just need to attach the device over here, which is 1100 4P. This is the serial number that I want to migrate. Then I start to configure the IP address of the interface, which is here, 113. Um, host name is SD-WAN 
migration test. System IP, it can be anything. Site ID is also can be anything. I just put 108. Okay. After we configure everything on the template, it's not going to push it to the device because the device now it is not in the SD WAN uh, fabric yet. So it is going to be done and scheduled for the device to come up, right? Okay, all right, it is done already. So it just wait for the device to be reachable uh, to the vManage and then it will start communicating uh, through that. So this is done at the vManage site. So we just go back to uh, our script. So the, uh, actually the workflow will be, uh, you need to, uh, you need to uh, put information in or, uh, to the device list on the CSV files. So here, if you take a look here, the CSV files that we have is, it's this one, right? Uh, because now I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do only one device. So I have to delete uh, the other two, but if you have multiple devices, you can actually doing this, uh, uh, doing this way. So you have a multiple, uh, multiple lines of the IP address and the serial number of those devices uh, uh, that you want to to do a migration uh, at the same time. But right now, because we have only one device there, so we just go there and delete uh, the other two. All right, now we can check again. Now we have only one device here. We put uh, IP address, we put serial number, and also we put the model a number over here. Then without having to wait anything, I just wanna start you know, running this uh, script by issuing Python remote upgrades. Then it asks for the username of the WAN, uh, the WAN router that you want to, to do, right? Admin, password, admin, device one, checking the serial number, pass, checking the version. Uh, as I said earlier, 17.3 is the minimum version that it can do the supported, uh, the unified image. Actually, everything is passed. Okay, then uh, we need to put the IP address of the vManage that it wants to connect. I just put it here. Username and password as well. Successfully uh, transfer the bootstrap files to the device and then it will ask your, whether you want to upgrade the devices now. I said, yes. So actually right now, uh, the script will do uh, the change the mode, you know, from the traditional WAN to the SD-WAN of that particular device. So basically uh, we just need to wait for now. It should be about um, seven minutes or, or two, 10 minutes to be able to, you know, to manage it back again. But this one, uh, but this time it's gonna be inside the vManage. So as you can see here, uh, we have only one devices over here. Yeah, so uh, once it is done, then uh, the vManage will be changed to two. Right now it is 9.55 uh, a.m. So let's wait for a while. I'm gonna stop the video and I'm gonna replay it back once. Yeah, just to speed up the time. All right, now we are back in 10, uh, 
Okay, now we are back at 10, 0, 1, 0, 2, right? So now as you can see here, the, v the van is already configured. It is uh, already up and the, it has a full connectivity here. So let's wait a little bit of while. Uh, it's start coming up by now. All right, so let's show it. So this is the SD-WAN migration test. This is the IP address that we have configured the system IP and we have a site ID here. We start building the, the tunnel between sites. And uh, as you can see here, we have a full WAN connectivity between these two sites. Right, so actually this one should be finished, but we just wanna make sure that uh, our migration without having to touch anything, it works perfectly fine. Then we can just uh, issue the, the test. Go to troubleshooting, we go to the ping, Destination is, let's go back to our, here, it's 10.10.201, no, 210.1, with the VPN 10, specifying from the rootback interface, then we issue the ping, and it should be successful. All right, so it is successful. Uh, everything is uh, received and uh, received fine, right? So that is done. So then let's go back to our slide. That means we can issue the command remotely to get the router from migrated from the WAN router, traditional WAN router to the SD WAN routers right away. Uh, total time, if you can see, it is about eight minutes of time. And then this branch is the 100% going to the SD-WAN. Maybe you want to do it 10 routers once, right? Using the script, then uh, you can add your device detail into the device list, CSV files, and then you can, you can run it right away. It's gonna be all 10 of the branch going to the SD-WAN at the same time. All right, that is the uh, end for the short demonstration here. Again, uh, I will put the, the GitHub link that I have on the description below so that you can actually go and take a look at how the script works in details. All right, for this video, thank you for watching.